Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Let's get going here on win 30, so we're going for 31, and it's been pretty easy so far. We haven't had a, a truly challenging run in a while. Alright, let's change that. Um, FWGS9XCR. Thinking let's get comfortable here. Oh, that's real bad. <laughs> uh, I was like, you know, it could be a health upgrade because we have one HP. Uh, it could also, of course, be a speed downgrade, which is maybe even worse than like a tears downgrade at this point. The good news is our damage stat is fine, and uh, in terms of like short-term survival, we're starting with uh, glitter bombs, which is really valuable. Because Glitter Bombs allows us to 100% be able to access this Tinted Rock. Even if we just get a key, we can get enough money to go to our shop. Okay, so there's the Spirit Heart. I start to feel a little bit less concerned about things now. I think, honestly, the fact that we got this Spirit Heart makes me feel like... Oh, with two Spirit Hearts especially, probably like doubles my confidence that we can win this run. At first it was a little dicey, but uh, what I meant to say, at first I was afraid! I was petrified. How am I gonna get win 31 this time? But then I only did two rooms and I found a tinted rock. And it, obviously we're gonna go with the, you know, hard C word, if you know what I mean on that one. Uh, I probably should be a little bit uh, hesitant to use bombs as frequently or as, as liberally as I seem to imply that I'd like to from that usage right there. But I was a little scared of the... Um, the frequency with which these flies and spiders are making their way towards me. Uh, our DPS is pretty bad, but honestly, the fact that we got that early, uh, okay, uh, it could be worse. We got a pill from Glitter Bomb, but I really did expect that we would get that Tinted Rock as well. We must have been away by, like, the, the bare minimum. There's a stone chest as well. Full health? Okay, it's at least good to know. I should have blown up the other side. We could have saved one bomb in the process, but you know we gotta check the stone chest. I recognize that I'm a little low on, um, a little low on, uh, bombs now, but I think we've used the ones that we've had to relatively good effect. Now, what do we do with a golden key? Obviously, we have to go to our, uh, to our, uh, shop on this floor. I mean, we have 10 cents and one bomb. It's fairly reasonable that we could actually buy, like, a 15 cent item. Which I think would be more valuable than worrying about, you know, trying to get an arcade or something like that. We actually have 11 cents once we finish this room. Um, and honestly, we're not in dire need of a, an HP improvement. We're in dire need of a, of a DPS improvement of some sort, but... This run definitely started a lot scarier than it actually looks right now. The fact that it started with the shitty spacebar item, and then, uh... I'm just trying to see if the audio actually looks right here, but anyway, that's inside baseball. It either looks right or it doesn't look right. Hold up. I think it's fine. Alright, hopefully the audio is not messed up. If it is, you know, life goes on. I don't... Hey, you know what? Mom's Box of Trinkets has a pretty good chance to pay out for us in, in a real way here. So let's take this. And we don't even have a trinket to start. So Judas's tongue is not really that great, but um, it's, it's okay. Now, I am hoping that we have, uh, maybe a library over here, even though it's unlikely. Unfortunately, I did waste, uh, one of our bombs. Well, waste might be a strong word. But you know what they say, waste not, want not. And I'm wanting here, so I think I must have wasted something somewhere down the line. That was pretty poor damage. As much as I, uh, think that we're relatively safe, I don't think we're safe enough that I can take damage like that and feel, like, good about it. Um... You know, you never know if we're going to find ourselves in like an eight minute long ragman fight or something on this floor as a result of the fact that our DPS is, is pretty shitty. We're very lucky, by the way, that despite our speed downgrade, mm, it's not good enough. But we can use it to get this tinted rock and hope for small rock, maybe. In spite of, uh... In spite of the speed downgrade, we're still relatively fast. We did get small rock. Fairly desirable, despite the fact that our rate of fire is still bad. But this means that if we get... Toothpicks, screw, something along those lines. Uh, we're, we're set up fairly nicely here, but this is probably a dead end, and it is indeed. I guess we just go fight the boss. If we get, like, matchbook, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You know, give us, uh... 
the ability to get some bombs, maybe get into the secret room, maybe the secret room allows us to get into the curse room for free, maybe the curse room gives us an amazing item, who knows. Uh, it's the haunt, which actually I think is better than I would have expected here. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I think it might be easier than Ragman with the build that we've got going on. I'm starting to think that actually, you know, once you get the haunts... Ah, uh, disregard. He's an asshole still. I was gonna say that once you get the haunts, like, patterns down, Ragman is a little tougher just because he can overwhelm you uh, with minions, whereas the haunt basically has no ability to do so. I mean, the little baby haunts are still annoying, but... I feel like uh, they're not as annoying... As being overrun with spiders that take like 10 seconds each to kill if your DPS is terrible, but we'll see. The haunt fight, it just feels like a normal first floor fight most of the time now, although I'd feel a lot differently if I was at 1 HP instead of 1 plus a spirit heart. We get Squeezy along with it, which is going to give us 2 more spirit hearts. I think we owe it to ourselves to, uh, to go check out our curse room, and it will cost us a spirit heart, but we'll see. You know, though, that... Um, I, I did lose some HP here, and you know that this run is not amazing based on the fact that we have taken 5 minutes and 40 seconds just to... Ooh, spiders. Come on. Spirit hearts. Spirit hearts would be, like, equal here. You know what? We'll take Guppy head and roll with it. That's also great. Um, but yeah, the fact that this first floor took 6 minutes, I think, is indicative of the fact that this is not necessarily where I want to be damage-wise, but I think we've built a, a decent enough foundation that we can probably survive this run and not have to worry about it too too much our damage should be better with the tears upgrade small rock guppy's head etc etc and essentially we paid 15 cents for uh judas's tongue which is not the world's worst trade but it might not be the world's best either i'm gonna try it and i regret it i figured though you know if it just gives us a key then it's worth it. Um, and we, we probably would have stopped there, but... I, I didn't really want to spend a bomb and a key to open any of these other chests, but whatever. Again, we're kind of, like, in this one for the long haul as is. We're at 6 minutes, 30 seconds, and we haven't even come close to exploring anything on the second floor here. So, boss rush is already out of the equation. We kind of uh, have to double down, I think, and... Uh, just, uh, I can't believe we actually managed to survive that dodge there, but, um, we have to double down, I think, on, on doing our due diligence and, you know, get consumables, open as many chests as possible, and, you know, take our time, play methodically, which is not always my, uh, my strong suit, but, you know, it's a habit. We can, we can strengthen the habit just by doing it right here. It's like flossing, man. I, it's taken me, and, you know, maybe it's a little cocky, I don't mean to brag out there, ladies, but I am a daily flosser now, but it took me, um... It took this realization, and the realization is, you know, everybody can easily fall into a habit, uh, good or bad. Let's let's talk about good habits here, you know, like flossing your teeth. Um, everyone can fall into a good habit for like a week or two, you know? You're enthusiastic about it, you're like, yeah, not only am I going to lose some weight, I'm going to become like the most, dang it, tears down, great. The most jacked person on planet Earth, right? That's the way that the, the human psyche goes. Um, but then, a couple of weeks down the line, you say, ah, maybe I could sneak in another cheat meal here. The realization that I had with respect to flossing is that that's the start of the habit going downhill. You can choose not to floss tonight, but then it makes the decision not to floss tomorrow night that much easier. So, what you know, you're basically deciding to stop the flossing habit the first time that you make the decision to not floss. So I've just, for the last maybe two months, I've been very diligent. I know this is riveting commentary right now, but I think it applies to other habits in life as well, you know? The easy, the the quicker you uh, give yourself a little bit of leeway on that, the faster you're going to end up getting yelled at by your dentist the next time you go in for a cleaning, you know? And honestly, I am doing this pretty much exclusively so that uh, the next time I go see my dentist, he goes, Wow, have you been flossing? And I go, yeah. And he goes, alright, sweet, good job. None of my patients listen to what I actually tell them to do. And I was like, you know what? I was like that at a time in my life, but I, I, I like to think that I've matured a little bit since then. This is our eighth monster on this floor. Um, my worst nightmare is that after flossing regularly... And, and with the approved method from the American Association of Dentists, even though, I mean, we use the American Association of Dentists, the AAD here in Canada, just because we don't have enough dentists up here. We only have like four or five, so we can't form our own association. 
you know, they're from disparate geographic nations or ge geographic positions across the country. This deal with the devil is garbage. Um, yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. Um, but my worst nightmare is that I'm going to go in and he's going to be like, I thought I told you to fucking floss. And I'm going to be like, you are a fraud, mister. You have, you have let your true, true colors shine through. And that's not why I love you, Cindy Lopper. Um, let's throw this down here. So this run is slow, but it's fairly survivable for now. We don't have a great oh raw liver, rune bag also good. We don't have a great bead on um, on the guppy transformation, but guppy's head by itself is prob. If you can only get one guppy item as a standalone. You'd probably choose to have either nine lives or Guppy's head, and it depends on your survivability. Honestly, in this situation, I'd probably rather have nine lives, but Guppy's head is is up there as well. It's like at least a seven out of ten active item. Most of the other Guppy's items, or Guppy items, I should say, are fairly useless uh, standalone. Sometimes even deleterious standalone, like Guppy's hairball, mostly useless. Guppy's paw. Uh, maybe you can get some good stuff going out of Guppy's Paw. Degas, please. Ansus, also fine. Um, this could be a second Guppy item here. Guppy's Collar, lovely. Guppy's Collar can be useful, but is fairly unlikely to be, if we're playing right, at least. Um, and, uh, Guppy's Tail is the one where sometimes you're like, ah, it's like a slight punishment to take it if I don't have enough keys, but sure. Anyway, you guys want to talk more about flossing? No, I don't think so. It does it. I'm just. I'm not trying to be all self helpy. I'm just saying, you know, flossing, it's taken me a lifetime to build up the ability to, to have the dedication to do that habit. Because flossing is like there's really no way to go. You, you, it's not like eating well or working out or running or, you know, programming or something like that where you can be like, I'm gonna floss so well that I'm gonna become a master flosser in like six months or something like that, you know? You can't do that. Flossing is the most like zen art of all because as long as you do it adequately, you're doing it as best as you possibly can and it's not like you can floss twice as good tonight and then take tomorrow off. You really just have to, I mean this is a negative way to put it by the way, Dry Baby's pretty okay, I'm for it. You really have to resign yourself to the fact that I am going to have to floss every day Let's derive some pleasure from the art of keeping my, you know, intramolar spaces clean. And I think that there's something that, you know, might seem uh, nihilistic or something. But uh, I, I disagree. I actually think there's something truly zen-like. The, the way to achieve true nirvana through flossing. as the title of my upcoming book. True nirvana through flossing. It's going to be very popular with the AAD, I promise you that. Now, we have an interesting situation here with our... Oh, I'm an idiot. Can we buy a bomb and redeem ourselves? Yes, thank God. Um, we have a very interesting situation here. Uh, and that is... really hope Glitter Bomb would work out for us. Do you take the Yera rune? Or do you Yera the Joker card? And if we Yera the Joker card, obviously we'll get two Jokers. Um, I guess what we'd like to see is... <laughs> It's hard, weird to say, but hear me out here. There's going to be a little bit of a chain of logical events here. Um, starring Lemony Snicket and also Canadian superstar Jim Carrey. Um, we are going to hope we get no deal with the devil. All right, mission accomplished. We did get Magic Scab, though, which is fine. Another deal! I won't complain if we get Guppy, but we didn't, so I'm going to complain. Another deal with the devil that provided us with nothing of value here. Um... Or, you know, just a couple spirit hearts. Who cares? But we're actually going to... I mean, I, f I hate to say it, but I'm going to get rid of the Yera rune. We might as well use it on the shop. If we're going to get rid of it, so that we can get some other stuff here. My reasoning for getting rid of it is that I think we may need the Joker card for the next floor. Honestly, I did not mean to buy that battery charge. But, um, we may need, uh this Joker card to get us to the Guppy level. Like, we're not really that amazing as far as our damage goes right now. We're fully, like, one floor, maybe one and a half floors behind schedule for Boss Rush, which I don't say to complain about how slow we're going, but rather just to say, like, 
you know, that's a pretty good indication of, of the pace of the run right now, because it's literally the pace of the run. And um, that, that gives me, I think, cause for, not alarm, but cause for slight concern at the very least. So, thanks, thanks a lot, Demon Baby. Appreciate it. Um, I would like to improve the pace that we finish this run, or at least the pace that we proceed on this run. And one of the best ways to do that is definitely going to be becoming Guppy. Uh, yet another active item of extreme disuse, misuse, is not good, is what I'm trying to say. No spirit hearts for coming in here. Two bombs. Okay, there was another Yara rune, which I, I wish I'd used out here, obviously, but that's okay. Luck up is good. And I really feel like we this run has been very bad, except it's given me spirit hearts. And the fact that it's given me so many spirit hearts, and, and two guppy items without even being able to have deals with the devil for them, which is really good luck, but they haven't come to fruition yet, fully at least. Um, the, the fact that we've gotten so many spirit hearts has really allowed this run to look like it's better than it is. But if the spirit hearts dry up, we don't have the, the strength of items on this run to make me feel very confident that we're going to be able to get through this successfully. So we're very close to being able to pop off here. And, you know, I'll be the first to tell you, I'm, maybe I'm underselling this run a little bit. I mean, we do have Squeezy and we do have... Uh, Small Rock. Those those are the big ones here for us as far as... Uh, and and Rune Bag can actually be really nice too. And Guppy's Head. So like we have we have some decent items. I just feel like we're... Um, we're lacking a little bit in the... Uh, in like the guaranteed department. But that's okay. All we really need... And, and this is obvious and you know it's sincere because of how many times this has happened and how many times I've said it and relied on it. We're really one Guppy item away from... Uh, Pretty much a guaranteed victory. But uh, I guess, if, if anything, I should be thankful because I think in order to to have a really good chance to end the streak, which is a weird way to phrase that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's fine. Uh, in order to have a really good chance to end the streak, we really need to roll poor in like two different directions. Maybe even three. I think we need to start with shit HP. And we need to start with shit damage. And then the run needs to provide us with nothing. And really, we started with poor HP, we started with pretty bad DPS, but the run provided so many spirit hearts that we were actually able to pull ourselves out of this, like, pretty easily. So, you know, far be it for me to complain too much about how this run has actually gone, because we, you know, as Meatloaf said, two out of three ain't bad. As Meatloaf said, floss, floss every day. Floss? <laughs> I'm a flosser, baby. I just want you to know. Alright, that was terrible. That was actually slightly better, but still disappointing. Um, I mean, the problem is we could get a deal with the devil here. Dude, this is actually super annoying. I'm trying to kill these guys close to Dry Baby. There we go. Says I knew once Dry Baby popped off, that would that would give us the momentum here. We should take a Perthrow rune in, in case we get a deal with the devil or angel. The stain's not that bad. That was uh, terrible damage, but the stain, it's not the stain's fault. Actually, that bomb not only did damage, but hopefully pushed the stain far enough away that I can dodge these shots with a little bit more efficiency or... Fidelity, perhaps, is the word we're looking for there. Um, I think, honestly, once we're done with this room, we're done with this floor. We could go back and explore, but we... Uh, don't really have too much desire to. Okay, so I think that that's fine. Blue Cap, of course, giving us the HP plus uh, tears up. Now we can Joker. And the Joker has given us Sacred Heart, which is disgustingly good. Unfortunately, we have no bombs. Uh, so I can't actually... Blow up the uh, Angel Statue, which is really shitty, because now with Sacred Heart, it's like a, a pretty solid Mega Satan-y run. But does this compromise for our... Uh, Shitty start? Yeah, I'd say probably. I mean, Sacred Heart is, is really going to make this run a lot better. So, I can probably officially stop complaining now. At the same time, I would like a deal with the Devil to get Sacred Heart and Guppy. What can I say? I'm a greedy boy. And I think we, we really could benefit from the consumables here. If they'd be nice enough to grant us some. And that's quite a lot of money, honestly. You know what? Actually, even in advance of a Guppy item... Give me speedball. 
pretty common boss drop or um, you know demon judgment drop, and we've got the HP to to play a demon judgment pretty rigorously if it shows up. But uh, I could use the speed. Sh why not? Sure, I could use the speed, but I could also use the uh, the shot speed to make the the shots a little bit better. I'm not sure if Sacred Heart is a shot speed down or if it's just symptomatic of our own shot speed uh, down from the, 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 the blue cap, but either way, I think it, it would be useful. Also, of course, as I always say, as soon as we get strong, the number one thing that I want is piercing shots so that our strong tiers are that much stronger. I'm loving these Degas runes. Turn that gas all the way. Love me like a rocket into space. Loving these Degas runes. It's not really... You don't have to applaud. You can if you want, though. Um, Rainbow Baby. Not stellar. Not horrible, necessarily. This is the weirdest run, because I do feel like I'm in my rights to complain about our item room items. Like, they've been pretty middling for, like, the whole thing. But we've really gotten super uh, lucky from, like, strange sources. Small rock from Tinted Rock, and then, you know, two guppy items from Random Red Chess, and then Sacred Heart from a deal with the Angel that only existed because I had a Joker card, and then the two deals with the Devil before it didn't have the ability to give me precedent. Like, it's some ridiculous kind of, like, confluence of, uh, of luck that has allowed me to get some great stuff, but... Come on, blue... It's my own fault, of course, but... I was like, why is this blue spike not aggroing? I was functioning under the principle that it was going to aggro, and it did not aggro. Uh, Algus. No, we're just going to keep Perthro for now, honestly. And I, we, we don't have a key piece, so we should have, like, the same odds of getting a deal with the devil, honestly. We, we shouldn't be guaranteed a deal with the angel, or, or even weighted towards a deal with the angel. That doesn't mean we won't get a deal with the angel, just from a probabilistic standpoint, we have like a better chance probably of a deal with the devil disregard. All right, Synth Oil's great though. We still have no bombs. I will take Seraphim. Getting, gotta be getting close to conjoined here. And also maybe getting close to Leviathan? Or no, it's just Seraphim transfer. No, it's Leviathan. It's Leviathan and Beelzebub, I think. Uh, the big pickup there obviously though is Synth Oil. Synth Oil's gonna be real nice for us. Um, we're not as far behind schedule as we used to be. But I'm just... Like, give me some freaking red chests. That's all I ask. Give me at least the chance. Give me the serotonin hit that comes from opening that crate. And I'm hoping that we get the guppy item, alright? Just a little bit of extra... Drama here. Uh, you know, we probably will do the five room because we really have no reason not to we have enough keys for sure we could actually generate maybe an arcade for ourselves um, now that we have five cents I'm not sure not that I really need anything from the arcade but an extra HP and speed upgrade is not the worst and you know lots of extra money to donate potentially we'll see though I'm really like I'm not on a time limit right now so it's uh, it's nice the NLSS doesn't start for like two hours and 20 minutes so Unless this run hits like some unprecedented train wreck territory, we should we should pretty much be good to go here. But let's see what we've got in our uh, in our item room first. Don't really care about using a bomb to get three more flies, and it's weird. Like maybe it's worth using a bomb to get the broken magnet, but I don't know. I mean, Judas's tongue is usually better than broken magnet. And we have a few different possibilities for ways to get ability to fly or abilities to fly, so I don't really want to invest limited resources into getting something that might be unlimited for us in the future. But we'll see. We'll see. It seems like a play that's actually smarter than I'm giving it credit for. Is you know, Judas the Shadow has done nothing for us all run so far. N not a, not to its own fault. You know, it hasn't had any chance to. Um, but uh, traditionally, I consider the Broken Magnet pretty terrible, but maybe in this situation it's it's the right way to handle it. I don't know. That's what I like about Isaac. I keep getting older and it keeps... Well, I mean, technically it also keeps getting older. Alright, it's yet another uh, fairly useless item for us here in the item room. 
Just another active. And if you're counting, like, active items that we've had a chance to take, and if not, um... Well, in increment that count by one, mister! Unicorn Horn, uh, Hourglass... We did get Judas' Shadow out of the- out of Mom's box of trinkets, but... I don't know if I really want to count that, because it... Runs counter to the narrative that I'm trying to build here. Another luck upgrade. Another Hagalaz rune as well. Good news! Hagalaz rune! Honestly, with rune bag, I don't really want to use bombs to blow up these things. Uh, because, you know, we, we already have a, a pretty high quality rune here in Perthro. And beyond that, um, we also already have Dry Baby. So the, the big payout from these skulls is already existing for us on this run. Alright. I really... I, the problem is, if we fight Mom, I can't get a... I can't get out to get to that 5 room. You know what? I'm gonna do it. And I'll admit, this this has a smattering of laziness associated with it. It's not as min-maxy as maybe I should be. But I'm really itching for this deal with the devil. We did not get one. We will just take the Polaroid and head down to the next floor. Little bit of a bummer, but we're still in a fairly comfortable position here. Curse of the Unknown. Uh, that's, that's two Curse of the Unknown in a row, but I think that we're pretty safe as far as, uh, HP goes, but that can change pretty- Oh, I'm an idiot, and will we reroll our whole run? Yes. Not because it's a good idea. In fact, quite the opposite. This seems pretty bad, but we do have, uh... We do have Bloody Lust. <laughs> and Infestation 2. In fact, this seems terrible. What is up with this? The good news is, you only have to live with it through one floor. And I'm pretty sure that there's no way that we could have gotten less HP. I don't think we can roll ourselves into something that would do that to us. And of course, it's actually like a, a fairly decent haul as far as, uh, as far as a reroll goes. It's not as catastrophic as maybe it looks. And it, I'll, I'll admit, it looks fairly bad. Oh, we also have... Taurus. But the Infestation 2 grants us kind of a lot of leeway here. Especially when you consider that our flies generate spiders for us. Just wanted to see if we could pick that up. What I mean by that is that our flies do a decent amount of damage. And when they hit, they will generate uh, spiders that will kill enemies and, and do a lot of damage to them as well. Now when the spiders kill an enemy, they don't generate more spiders. And that's a real bummer. Got some kind of poison shot. Fairly hopeful that's like Serpent's Kiss or something. Um, this is this is a little dicey, but you know what? I like the zaniness. I miss the misery. I miss the song. It's from Rock Band 4. Oh man, voice did not hold up over that. Oh, probably should have taken a hit there, I'll be honest with you. Hate this room, but four bombs is not enough to really uh, change that. Uh, probably should not have walked over that creep is my guess there, but... So we get these wonderful spirit hearts on occasion. No, 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 yeah, good. I didn't want to let the spider kill the, uh, the other minion in there. Gonna be honest with you, don't like, uh, the value proposition on this, uh, mob trap room. Unless there's red chests, which there's not. Uh, stone chests are pretty good, though. Pretty fly, sure, that's like our 90th uh, pretty fly, that's okay. Probably should take out the things that are rattling off the sides, but I, we don't need to kill them, actually. Nice. Alright, uh, this, is, this is a little tougher than I'd like to admit. And pretty much took us from a position of relative safety to one that's a little bit more uh, frightening. Hey, we still have Perthro, though. Should have Perthroed missing, though, man. Ooh. That's okay. Just stay strong. You know, we, we've done the womb with worse runs than this. The only thing that sucks about... Well, there's two things that suck about the run that we've got right now. One of them is, um... My Reflection. The other one is just a terrible rate of fire, and that's due to Eve's Mascara. So, I'd say, honestly, this is like a 3 out of 10 reroll. 
I don't really want to go to the curse room without knowing where our HP stands, which is a bummer, because, uh, obviously, you know, the, the poor get poorer in this situation, because we would have a chance to become Guppy, and, and that would be a really nice, like, static way to improve every single reroll from this point onwards. I'm not giving Bumbo the money, because Bumbo, in all likelihood, is not going to stick around with us, but sometimes, sometimes the game gets wonky with that. That was shitty. Uh, I think I'm just gonna bomb my way through that room. I think we've gotta play, like, semi-tactically here. Um, well, the problem with bombing our way through that room is there's a lot of... There's a lot of bullshit in the meantime. I still think it... Oh. Did I knock my own bomb out of the way? It's probably my reflection. At least we generated some spiders. And we gotta be pretty confident this is the right way to go. Watch out, there is creep on the ground there. It's just hard to see. How embarrassing that little Steven is like our best damage dealer right now. Taurus is huge though. If we can just bide our time until the Taurus is ready to pop. There we go. He's done. We get a battery charge. Actually pretty useful, just... The fact that we can't pick up that HP, I think, is still a really good sign. It means that our our spirit hearts are still holding for now. Range up is actually pretty good with this, like, Eve's Mascara incredibly show, slow shot speed run we've got right here. Um, and we did find our boss fight. Remember, it's missing, though. We don't have to live the rest of our run like this. All we have to do is beat this floor. And we're basically there. Just gotta beat the boss. We got five bombs that I will not hesitate to use. I still don't think it's the right call. Right, we don't have glitter bombs anymore. What? I still do not think it's the right call to um, to take the the white pony. Get Taurus active. Get Taurus active. I think we're better off with Guppy's head. It's more guaranteed. No deal with the devil. So let's reroll this. And we got the box. Which basically is just going to become another item for us on the next floor. But it did give us a Joker card. I don't know what our HP looks like. So it's a little scary. You know what? We're probably best off with Judas's tongue for now. This is a little scary. But I think we give it a try. We're not dead, so that's good. And I think you take Monkey's Paw with you just to just to keep yourself semi-safe. You know, they, I don't like to use this, but sometimes it's necessary. All right, what's going on here? We got, like, Cursed Eye Soy Milk. All right, this is really another nice uh, assortment of choices for ourselves. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, the Sun card. You know, I was originally like, sweet, we got the Sun card. Now I know... Uh, how far you'd go to be the next freak show American? No, but uh, I uh, I was looking forward to being able to use the map with it, but uh, or to to get the map with it. But I actually feel like now we we pretty much unfortunately have to use it for uh, for survivability's sake. And I shouldn't complain. It's actually fantastic. Now I would like to point out. That this is probably one of those runs where people are going to be like, I wish you didn't play so zany. But I do think that sometimes, you know, it's beneficial to... Sh that was bad. It's beneficial to shock your system. And we, uh, you know, it, it, it helps keep you from getting too comfortable. Maybe even a little lazy. And I think that we've done a good job of... Unfortunately... Okay, thank you, Cursed Eye. Unfortunately, creating that uh, situation right here. Which is my way of saying... Sure, life's dangerous right now, but... Hopefully by surviving this danger presently... We're creating a situation... We're, we're creating the traits in ourself. In ourselves, even. You as a viewer. Where we uh, can survive this kind of uncertainty in the future, you know? I think there's a lot of value in this. As ridiculous as it may sound. 
That was terrible. Oh, we got some lifesteal, though. Charm of the Vampire. Who would have thought? And then we got a double key room. And we've earned the right to do with, with, this, with this double key room whenever we please. And again, I, I can't stress enough, this is basically... Oh, we got money equals power on this run, too. But This is basically just a bunch of bad rolls stacked together again. Um, and what I mean by that, I guess we'd rather have some invincibility, so let's not take these half hearts. What I mean by that is, um, thank you as well, uh, we, really this wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have either Cursed Eye or Soy Milk. One or the other, and life is fine. It's just both together is, is a terrible synergy. You can really quickly charge up five shots that don't do very much damage. Who cares? You know, that's... Sack Dagger, thankfully, is like a blessing for us here. And the Sun card might actually save us the run, but... Um, surely this is not a, like a situation that I would have created for myself, given the opportunity. That being said, it is going okay. And I think, again, you know, there's, there's two ways you can deal with the... What is, essentially does come down to bad luck for us. One is to complain about it and act like, you know, variants as a vendetta against you. The other one is to try to orchestrate some kind of plan to actually deal with it. And uh, I think you know what style I tend to prefer for myself. And so far it's worked out okay. Um, but we, we've got some work to do. The real danger, of course, is that we... Uh, this is where we got deflected last time. The real danger is uh, that we're unable to have a good roll for the chest or the cathedral. We can get away, especially considering how our HP was and the fact that we have the sun card. We can get away, that was terrible, with um, the womb being not amazing. The problem becomes what happens if the cathedral sucks. You know, we'll get whittled down eventually and... Honestly, our window becomes a lot more narrow as soon as this sun card exits the equation. And it may exit the equation right now. Because I really, I, I sort of feel like we're forced into using Sack Dagger to kill Mom's heart here. Because I really, really can't afford to teleport. So, we pretty much have to take advantage of it at... You know, every time it's it's in the area where it can land on Mom's Heart. I'd say that's probably the best, at least the most skillful Mom's Heart fight I've ever had in my life. Let's head up to the next floor, and we are free from our second hell. We got uh, the Mom Transformation. And it seems like we got Beelzebub too, honestly. Sad Bombs and 14 of them. Daddy Long Legs, Relic, Grandfather Fly... Oh, Explosivo. Rate of Fire is still horrible. Lots of good tier effects going on here, though. Um, this this is certainly much more doable than the than the runs we've had recently. Got two little flies stuck together there. That's weird. Still, I gotta gotta point out only one guppy item away. That was pretty sweet, actually. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think we gotta try. Even though it, there's no way it, it becomes Guppy. I, Steven? Doesn't bother me. Just more items to be rerolled as well. Goathead, again, more items to be rerolled. Really, Explosivo is, is, I think, highly underrated. It's, it's not as good as maybe Holy Light, but, um, on a run with poor damage, Explosivo can save your ass so easily. We might have Serpent's Kiss or something. We just got a black heart for nothing. We might not even have Serpent's Kiss. We might have, like, Fruitcake or something that, that occasionally gives us the Serpent's Kiss effect. Spirit heart. Just get out. Who cares about the money at this point? Okay. This is... It, it feels weird to have a run that's actually, like, functional again. Spirit hearts are coming fast and furious here. Now we have to check the curse room. There's just, it's been too good for us lately to not go for it. Uh, and it's only going to cost us one Spirit Heart, which is actually really good considering how many we've gotten on this floor so far. And we broke even on it, which is not bad, but I, of course I wish that it had gone slightly differently. 
still not really amazing, but it's not that bad. It's not as bad as the, the previous two floors, uh, without a doubt. And I'm hopeful... In fact, you know what? Maybe it's actually a, a blessing in disguise that we've gone through that shit on the last two floors. Um, because a lot of those items can be pretty deleterious. You know, we've gotten rid of soy milk. We've gotten rid of my reflection. So, um, taking... Uh, we've gotten rid of cursed eye. Taking those items out of the equation means that there's probably a, a fairly markedly lower chance for us to get shit on by terrible synergy um, in the uh, in our future missing no rows. No, missing no rolls, I should say. Um, this is one hell of a run, though. You gotta admit. A, a 40 plus minute long Isaac run at this point in our lives is indicative of, of probably some interesting things going down. Admittedly, I don't think there's any debate that I, that I did a decent amount of this to myself. There's some self-inflicted punishment here. And you know what? That's okay. Wouldn't want it any other way, probably. We do have sad bombs. I think we would really benefit from using them against Isaac. Uh, because we're not going to have sad bombs on the next floor. So this is probably as valuable as our bombs are ever going to be. And it would be nice if I could actually get them close to the boss. That's alright. I'd really like this guy to die. And I, I was probably going to get hit there either way. Uh... As a result of my poor placement, so I can't really uh, pretend like that was unexpected. Oh, we missed out on the explosivo shot. Come on, just land it. We got hot bombs as well, I think. I don't know, maybe we can save bombs at this point. Oh, we're heading down, and the sun card is still in our possession. This is real useful. Another transformation, this one is Seraphim. And we got Mulligan. Oh, Tech X. So we, we've probably actually just won. We'll take Mr. Mega. We'll take Kane's Other Eye. We already have mapping. Incredibly low shot speed, but high damage. All right. We did get the win here. And honestly, if you're going to be a little baby about oh, NL luck, NL luck. At this point, you just want to complain for complaining's sake, man. This is a run in which... Um, we, we encountered multiple miniature crises. I'm not saying that we, you know, dealt with train wreck levels of bullshit. I'm just saying there were, there were many opportunities on this run where poor play could have sunk us. And did we get lucky that we got, you know, enough spirit hearts at times or eventually didn't get shitty rerolls on uh, Missing No that we could pull ourselves out of it? Sure. You know? Everybody encounters some degree of luck to some extent in their lives. But this run is less lucky than average for me. For sure. So, the fact that we were able to get out of this one, I think, is is pretty indicative of good play. I'm very excited to move on to win 32 because this one was the uh, the biggest test we've had in a little while, actually. We will open that, of course. But this, I'm if anything, I'm happy you get the uh, or we got the uh, amazing roll on the hardest floor. So we will take sticky bombs. And the tower is irrelevant. I still can't believe we didn't become Guppy. What? A, just a really strange run. A lot of things went opposite to plan here. But in the end, we still get that win. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. That was a good stretch, man. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.